Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the DIYGuy.net. All right, today we're going to be showing you how to disable the seatbelt chime or minder in a 2014 F250. I'm not sure if this is going to work on the 150 or 350 and whether it's going to work on the 2013 or 15. So if you test it out and it does work, drop us a comment and let us know. Uh, so we're going to start by setting the parking brake. Next, we'll make sure the truck is in park. Next, we can turn the key on and watch the seatbelt light and wait for it to go out. It should take about one minute. Once the seatbelt light goes out, we have 30 seconds to perform the next two steps. Next, we need to buckle and unbuckle the seatbelt three times, ending with the seatbelt unbuckled. Once you've finished buckling and unbuckling the seatbelt three times, the seatbelt light on the dash will illuminate again at which time you'll need to buckle and unbuckle the seatbelt one more time. If you did it correctly, in the 30 seconds, you will see the seatbelt light flash to confirm that you've properly disabled the seatbelt reminder. So that's it. We just showed you how to disable the seatbelt chime or minder in a 2014 F-250. Thanks for watching another episode of the DIYGuide.net. If you just finished building you the subscribe button, click that to get all latest DIY fixes delivered right to you. If you just finished building you the what's next button, you can click that and we'll help you figure out what you want to fix next. You can also click the link in the description which takes you to our website for a full write up.